Hey guys, Ryan from My Fishing Cape Cod here. Beautiful early April afternoon here on the Cape. And today we're going to be going after trout. Earlier in the week I used the fly rod to catch some trout. But today we're going to use a light little spinning setup. And this right here, this is a Nomad stick bait. It's a slow sinking lure. I'm going to start by tossing this and just slowly reeling it back in with a few twitches of the rod here and there. I've got probably a three foot section of 10 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon tied off to 15 pound Power Pro braid. This right here is a Shimano 2500. I could definitely go a lot lighter for trout, but this is a good all around freshwater reel and I've also used it to catch schoolies. And for a rod, this is a six and a half foot Temple Fork Outfitters. And let me see here, it's rated for one sixteenth to one quarter ounces and it's a fast action rod. So I'm just gonna start waiting around the pond and just start casting and hopefully there's a few trout around today. So like many of the ponds on Cape Cod, this pond was recently, recently stocked. State of Massachusetts stocks a lot of the ponds on Cape Cod with rainbow trout, brook trout, brown trout, tiger trout. So this little stick bait resembles a little shiner or just a little minnow or maybe a young yellow perch and all I'm going to do is just cast it out, let it sink a little bit, it's a little slow sinker so it's just going to slowly sink down to the bottom, just give it a few little twitches and a nice slow retrieve few pauses now and then and then just keep mixing it up until I find something that works Water level is really high. So I like how the Nomad stick, sh stick bait looks in the water, but no bites. So I'm just gonna throw on this um, spoon here. Just a perch colored uh, Thomas Buoyant little spoon. Maybe I can cast it a little farther. I really like how this looks in the water, just gliding back and forth. But maybe I just need to cast a little bit further. It might just be out a little deeper. It is fairly windy today, so casting isn't super easy. Sure is nice and peaceful though. Alright. 
This is just a trilene knot. I could use a little snap, a little snap swivel or something like that, but I didn't have any that were small enough. All my swivels are for stripers, which is too big. All right, so there we go. Let's give this a try, see what happens. Come on, hold on, hold on. Nice. I think it's a little rainbow. Very nice. Had a good feeling about that cast. <laughs> Just cast it down the shoreline here and he slammed it. Sweet. Nice. Awesome fish. Oh, jumping all over the place. I've got my small little pliers here. Keep this guy in the water. Get him right back. There he goes. Sweet. Oh, he's still sitting right here. <laughs> there got the job done take another cast down that direction so for that fish it was just a straight retrieve it's just nice medium speed nothing special Well, I worked this area after catching that trout. No more bites. So let's continue down the shoreline here. Got a lot of fishable shoreline in front of us. And we've got about an hour and a half until sunset. These ponds are just so beautiful. There's a... Uh, 366 ponds on Cape Cod. At least that's what I've been told. One pond for every day of the year, including leap years. And a lot of these ponds, like this one behind me, were carved out by glaciers 15,000 years ago. So they're very deep. So this pond, I'm not 100% sure of the depth, but some of the ponds on Cape Cod in the middle they could be 50, 60, even 90 feet deep. Nice clear water. And right now they're all crawling with trout. So if you have a little five weight fly rod or a little spinning reel, you can just do what I'm doing or take a small boat out and have a blast before the stripers and all the saltwater fish migrate back. Casting it out, reeling it in. That last trout hit, you know, I was reeling it in at a decent speed. That last one was very aggressive. He was just barely hooked though. That hook came out so easy. Here we go. This guy feels a little better. <laughs> oh, what we got here? The rainbow? Might be another rainbow, might be just a little bit bigger. Oh yeah. Oh. Nice one. 
fat. Sweet colors. Really sweet. Didn't even need the pliers for that guy. Awesome. <laughs> Just cast this one right down the shoreline there. See what we got. Another rainbow. Sweet. Awesome fish. There's one. There's the other. We should be good to go. There he goes. All right, not bad. That's three trout. Sun's starting to sink down. That's gotta be a trip for me. I gotta pack up, start the walk back. I got a fair amount of waiting to do back to the uh, pond to get to where I parked. But just a really nice way of spending an afternoon. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you over on myfishingcapecod.com. Tight lines and take care.